<laughs> nice. Welcome all you chosen ones out there to Buffy the Vampire Slayer for the Xbox. Uh, this was a pretty cool game released back in the day. Like it's supposed to take place between Buffy seasons like three or four or some shit. They 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 rightfully ignore the later seasons as, as they should. Um, this game was pretty cool. I have good memories of this one. It plays surprisingly pretty well for a licensed game. Uh, I love this spooky little uh, title screen and shit. Uh, we're gonna go in the options real quick. What do we got there? It doesn't matter. Just cut to the theme song. Do, 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 do. I'm super thrashing my head right now. <laughs> Don't zoom in on the faces, though. Oh, Cordelia, I miss you. I miss you, Char Charisma Carpenter. Oh, Giles being Giles. Boom. Yo, Little V, where the fuck is that cover? Get on that shit, my guy. A Spanish mission on the outskirts of Sunnydale. Why the latest Slayer aptitude test has to be held in the ass end of nowhere? This is a crucial part of your training as Slayer, Buffy. At least as far as the council is concerned. Fuck the council. Fuck you, I don't do what you tell me. challenging and comes with its share of peril. Don't they all? Yes, now then. The first part of the test is an obstacle course of sorts. Make your way to the church and find your way inside. It isn't quite as simple as it sounds. I'll meet you inside. Best of luck. You're gonna need oh, it for this tutorial. Sure. You get to wait inside the church and I'm out here with the peril. So much peril. So uh, immediately you can tell that Sarah Michelle Gellar did not uh, reprise her role. I think it was like she was either too expensive or her agency. I don't know. Uh, this game has everyone else reprising their roles. Anthony Stewart, head, of course, greatest name in show business um, and all, all the other characters. But for some reason, they could just never get uh, SMG, which is, is a little weird. Oh, look at my big combo. So this was made by, uh, at the time, The Collective, who became uh, Double Helix. So James D. James Goddard worked on this game's combat system, which is why it's it's pretty sick, actually. So it's a little Tomb Raider-ish. Not It's more uh, focused on combat than anything, melee combat. There's a little bit of... Um, uh, I think projectile weaponry too, uh, and the levels are, are pretty linear. Press Y to use and activate that. Let's press the door. Okay, let's activate it. But let's do my big dumb jump kick. Video game uh, gravity and big dumb special moves are perfect for Buffy because of all things about the Buffy Vampire TV show. Buffy Vampire. Buffy the Vampire Slayer TV show is that the martial arts were bollocks. Ah, the lantern. <laughs> Buffy doesn't trust it. She's like, I don't know. There could be a demon in here or a mantis woman or uh, an internet monster. Very mysterious. She could have just flipped on this. She didn't even need, you know, little, little outcroppings. She didn't need that. Buffy can just climb with her claws. She has those. So it is a sound alike for SMG, but the, she gets the cadence right, but the voice is still a little bit off. It's not perfect. Not that it could be absolutely perfect, but it does take me out of it a little bit. And this is like in 2003, 2002, this game. So it's like, you know, the celebrities were putting their voices in the game. So it's still a little strange. I want to look that up as to why she didn't. 
why they couldn't get her. Is it the master? The master? The dreams that Buffy's been after? For those that are not up on Buffy lore, there's like this Lord of the Vampires. He's not as cool as Dracula. He's just kind of lame, actually. And he was like the villain from like seasons one and two? Maybe just one. It sounds like him, but I'm not sure if it is. My memory's a little foggy. Okay, what is this? <laughs> so, I guess Giles had like pet vampires behind him. It's a Kutra Malls, idiot! With your fists and feet while I search for a weapon. Showtime. Buffy, your brains are your greatest weapon. Also, your martial arts kicks and flips. Oh, those big combos! It's not quite Devil May Cry combat. It's more focused on uh, gaining melee weapons. You can break off, like, tons of background objects to get stakes and stuff. It's pretty cool. Wooden? Good to me. Vampires hate wooden things. The harder it is, the more they fear. Hey, pointy wooden object. My best friend. <laughs> it's a girl's best friend. So, just like in traditional Buffy manner, they have tons of dumbass uh, uh, jungle cat roaring sound effects for vampires, because that's the sound vampires make. Adult content. Stabby stab stab. Well done, Buffy. Oh crap. I told the council you didn't even need to be put through this exercise. You've proven me correct. Do I get a cookie? Rendezvous with me at the front of the church, but keep an eye out. There's a vampire nest within, and you must proceed with caution. But but the cookie though. Caution. My middle name. Only not really. So that'd be Buffy and Caution Summers. <laughs> There's something about menus like this that are just so fifth uh, uh, PS2, Xbox, GameCube generation. I mean, they, they, like almost every game had something like that. And then the word pull, they don't use the word pull for controllers anymore. But that's kind of your dash. I wouldn't say that's a dash, it's more like a dodge, but they didn't know what to call it back then. It's more like a shimmy shake. <laughs> With this speedrunning tech, I'd love to know if there's a speedrun for Buffy the Vampire Slayer on the Xbox. I need to hit that with something, and stunning how often I get to say that. Dialogue's very quippy. I'm sure Joss Whedon, whatever hole he's living in, would be proud. I guess. Hey, what's a nice girl like? Hey. Fortunately, like most vampires in the Buffy show are like really stupid and say dumb things when they fight and when they get killed. So this this flows really well into a video game where that's very common, essentially. Yeah. Thanks, background object. I wish they could all be California girls. Yeah, see, that's what I'm talking about. What the fuck was that? Oh, look at him go! <laughs> yeah, I forgot that's that's the vampire's raison d'etre. They can't fly, they can't do a lot of shit, but they can leap <laughs> like 20 feet in the air for whatever reason. <laughs> ah, vampire goo. Love that shit. I feel like a new slayer. All right, check the slayer style. <laughs> what is that? <laughs> She never said that ever. Oh, we're channeling the loading screen. Beyond this door, you will face your final challenge. Ooh, final challenge sounds final. The entrance is protected by a mystical ward that will bar you from passing through unless you have the three keys. These are not traditional keys, but engraved stone. I've already found one. Ooh, thanks, Giles. I find and retrieve the others, which are hidden here in the church. An Easter egg hunt. Oh, joy. Will you be wearing a bunny suit? Buffy, please try to focus. The levity is appreciated, but this is a crucial part of this. You never appreciate my levity, Giles. I shall begin searching at the back of the church. 
Trust While you're me. searching in the back of the church, Giles, you better not be having sex with Buffy's mom. Oh, she said Wiggins! That never caught on. Actually, I think it's quite charming. Nothing to worry about, I'm sure. Let me know in the comments if you ever unironically said Wiggins. If you were wondering what the fuck Wiggins means, it's an old 2000s term that Joss Whedon tried to coin and no one was buying it. It just means like the willies or like the chills. Don't give me the Wiggins. No, absolutely not. Uh, the fact that there's this old Spanish mission that's like, uh, I guess an archeological dream and it's just hanging out in Sunnydale, like there's mansions and castles that no one's ever Buffy. noticed. Very well thus far. Now we come to an opportunity for you to demonstrate your marksmanship with the crossbow. Ooh. Now the fun really starts. The vampire, sensing that Buffy now has a crossbow, decides it's the perfect time to attack. Dusting. New Olympic event. Man, fuck the council. The council is a bunch of old British uh, boomers that think they can control Buffy. They cannot. Ooh, a little bit of sniper elite over here. Still, <laughs> these vamps. Oh, like where'd my friend go? Was that a Britney Spears reference? Is that a it's Britney bitch reference? Death is your gift. All right, slap this bad, bad boy Mystic Key in there. We got one more after this. I'm already, I'm doing it, Giles. Yes, that. But also a secret passageway. Come on then. Right, Tio. So Giles is British, right? He's extremely British. So nowadays, if uh, Buffy was to be remade in 2022, Giles would most likely have a wrestling podcast with a bunch of other British guys, because that seems to be what they all do nowadays. Okay, what's the haps? Where the floor tiles look newer. According to an arcane text I've found, there should be a hatch in the floor that leads to a hidden passageway. Unfortunately, it seems that at some point the hatch was sealed. Need Why, Giles? Through the tile. Now, let's have a look around. Or up? I'm wondering if maybe a one-ton bell, say, crashing from above might do the trick. Well, it's erring on the side of overkill, but given the absence of other options... Then it's a plan. I'm going up. Just stand clear and try not to get squashed. I'll do my best. There's literally nothing wrong with overkill. Overkill gets a bad rap, but always overkill. Never not overkill things. Especially in a supernatural like show like this. Can I scream it down? What can I do a flip? Will it oh okay, the crossbow. Gotcha. Okay. I guess it's this? Just the latch? Uh oh, there you go. Wow, that's a very good zoom, actually. Yeah. You've killed Giles. He he did get squashed. No, oh, no, he's okay. So I just I just jump in the hole, huh? Cool. Wait. Oh. Well. Oh, well. Oh. I'm afraid you're on your own from here on out. I'll meet up with you again after you've faced the final challenge. Once you've got the stone keys in their places, the main entrance will open. Check. I'll meet you there. Buffy would win against Cthulhu. Jesus Christ! I have a bad feeling about this. Yeah, no shit. I'm so angry. I'm angry about that sixth season! Ugh! Man, this place gives me the fucking Wiggins all over. I'm just shuddering with the Wiggins. Whoa! Na 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 na! I don't think he ha ha has an itch, Puffy. It, it is a fleshless skeleton. That's pretty cool. They're just leaping out of there, all filled with piss and vinegar. Who doesn't love this? Okay, that's fine. That's good. Walked into my sleigh ground. <laughs> that's pretty dope. <laughs> Nice. 
All right, the health has to be a bit lower to actually stake them. There you go. Just come over here, sir. Sir. Oh, go kiss daylight. So one thing about Buffy that I, I absolutely can't stand is that vampires can just go around the daylight no problem as long as they have like a jacket or like a blanket on. There's spikes just always running into scenes where he's fucking on fire and he's just got like a poncho on and I'm like no you can't play that loose with vampire rules. Am I in hell? Feels like when you get the Book of Eternal Darkness. Yeah. Oh, that's cool. Yeah, this is the Master Shiz where she fights that villain. Oh! <laughs> <laughs> it's a little awkward. I have built up so much nostalgia for our reunion. Uh, Whoa, wow. Okay, well the nightmare continues because we're still going to Sunnydale High. This is the worst cheer ever. Ah, uh, uh, my sweet okay, Cordelia. Okay. I'm over the pursuit of fame and glory through cheerleading. It's a crushing blow to the world of synchronized shouting. <laughs> okay, girls, let's take that last one again. But, but this, this time, time, let's be good at it. Uh oh. Are are is there a gang hocked up on PCP Wait, running around? If your janitor in your school is known to the uh, to the student bodies as Creepy Pete, maybe fire that janitor. I'm just saying. All right, so this is the uh, the first like true level, right? And if I recall, it's kind of not like a maze, but you 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 feel like you're running around in circles for the most part. So so the other neat thing about Sunnydale, specifically Sunnydale High, is that a student dies like what gets murdered horrifically once a week, and throw a teacher in there too, like a one a teacher or two, every so often, and it's just like no, that's it, it's fine, that's fine. The police come in, they clean the body, they just move on. Ah! I don't know, physics is kind of useless. Oh, I see that spin. See that third strike spin? Get the fuck out. Ow. Yeah, there she goes with the slay ground line again. You okay? You okay? Yeah, uh, Jessica? Stephanie? I don't, I don't know the student's name. So, funny fact about this game is that this uses a proprietary engine called the Slayer Engine, ironically enough. Um, and uh, the Collective slash uh, a Double Helix used portions of this engine like through all their games up until Killer Instinct in 2013. Killer Instinct uses bits of this code from this game. That's fucking fascinating to me. Don't worry, I have a mop. Vampires can't deal with that because it's it's wooden and sort of point. Oh! You can't you can't fight a vampire that does that. That one that doesn't give a fuck. There's no greater power, supernatural or otherwise, of not giving a fuck. It is like god level. Right now you're every pretty girl who ever ignored you. Oof. That must be a Josh Sweden line. Only one of you. <laughs> he caught me by surprise, okay? Whoa! Wow! Die Slayer. What does that mean? The Slayer? The? Who are you, disgusting vamp? Oh! They cut the power. It's Willow. Never a good thing. Does it make me a pessimist to say that's a bad omen? Cutting the power. I'm thinking they're smarter than the average bear. Or average vampire bear. Vambear. That's another bad thought on a collision course with my terror. Then we have to get the power back on. Just stay here. Keep your head down. Absolutely. Classroom. Always felt right at home in a classroom. Yep. Gonna sit right here with the chalk. 
Okay, thanks, Willow, for giving me one key card. I guess I'll never see you again. There's a sequel to this game, uh, Chaos Bleeds, and it was done by a different developer. It's, it's not as good as this one, I find. But you can control all the other characters, and they all have specific powers and stuff, which is neat in theory, but it just, it just moment to moment, it doesn't play as well as this one. All right, so turning the power on. Oh, what's this now? What are their obsession with California girls? They really like that Friday the 13th meme. Like at least in Blade 1, you know, uh, Deacon Frost had like a fucking radiation suit to protect him from the sun. Like, I'll believe that. But then like Spike's driving a car where it's all blacked out. He's got like tape on the windows. How is he driving? <laughs> it's no sense. Get ready to spill your guts. I have the low ground. You'll never be able to defeat me here. There's no more advantageous position than the low ground. We all know this. We we have to get creep creepy Donald to to Wow, that's I can't go through there. There's a small fire in a trash can. You see that? We need to get creepy Pete McDonald to uh uh turn on the power and Willow gave me a key card, so I'm assuming there's a specific door. Ooh. Uh-oh, the sound of a tiger. That must be a vampire. There, there he is. <laughs> showtime. It's showtime, he says. So the way this game's combat works a little bit is that you have these specific attacks, the, those blue flashes on them, that uses a bit of like, I guess your adrenaline, whatever. It's the purple bar up above, I believe. Um, and that fuels those attacks, and I think you gain them with the little floaty orbs from the vampires. There's very specific attacks, and I think you unlock more, and it's like weird command prompts while you're doing combos. Like, it powers up your combos a little bit, if you, if you know what I'm saying. It's kind of a neat system, but the game doesn't really tell you about it. That's what I remember, at least. You need the instruction manual, for sure. All right, this is the one lone vamp that was kind of hidden in the level. I think I have to kill them to progress. Jump up here. I dare you. Come at me. Oh, there you are. Whoa. Like this game and the Punisher on the PS2. I love any of those games that use like a rudimentary ragdoll physics thing where you can like grab an enemy and throw them into something. And they either magnetize to like different stage props or hazards. Dude, where the fuck? <laughs> <laughs> Nobody saw Giles didn't see that. What the fuck? What's with the Cerebus is Cerebi? And he only has one head to be fair. No, it's like Vince Clortho or the Keymaster. <laughs> yeah, just throw a Luke King bicycle kick in there, why not? Even like hell spawned boys that are infused with uh, fire and hatred, even they can be good boys. This is my town. Yeah, yell that at the demon dog that you just killed. I know it's with the green death gas everywhere. This is normal for the Sunnydale, <laughs> for the Sunnydale High School. <laughs> the basement is fucked up. Uh, I'll give it that. There were some like evil mermen that were down there. One of them was like Wentworth Miller. That was a crazy episode. Going back, the fact that Wentworth Miller was, whoa! The fact that Wentworth Miller was in an episode and was a weird gross merman. And then when you realize Pedro Pascal of Narcos and Mandalorian fame was also a random character in a red, shit! Was a random character in a random episode. I couldn't handle it. It's crazy. Okay, yes. You know, Giles has to told me all about this in the ancient texts that uh, demons regularly use steam traps to prevent the Slayer from achieving their goals. <laughs> like someone just yelling chick bite. <laughs> it's just out of nowhere. So yeah, I'm still having lots of fun with this. The Unfortunately, this first Buffy game is only released on the Xbox, I think. Uh, I don't think it was released on the other consoles. The, the follow-up sequel did, but like I said, I, I find this game much, much better. It, it plays just generally uh, in, a, in a more polished sort of way, uh, the combat especially. Um, but 
as being stuck on the Xbox makes it a little bit harder to like get a hard copy. It does play on the 360, so there's backwards compatibility there, but you absolutely do need a uh, hard disk. Uh, probably get it off eBay or something because emulating the original Xbox is a little bit tougher than the other consoles. I've, I haven't mastered it yet. Uh, so I, I, this is never being re-released ever. If this gets re-released somehow, I'll, I'll eat a copy of the game. I swear. I'm doing this with full confidence here. Uh-oh. Why, are you going to get knocked unconscious? I love how he's doing commentary. <laughs> Buffy's like, oh, that British man. Get ready to spill your guts, honey. What? Oh, crap. A big uh, No More Heroes vibes with these deaths. My spleen. This guy doesn't even have a name. There's always like, it's the Trinity of Three or the Unholy Alliance or the Brothers of Destruction. <laughs> Or the two-man power trip. All the, like, tougher vampires that show up in random episodes all have, like, dorky gimmicks like that. Okay, I'm, I'm bringing it back. I have, like, a sliver of health. I can't even tell. I, I thought I was low. Unless my adrenaline counts as, like, a secondary health meter? I'm not sure how that works. Get the fuck out of here. Yeah. <laughs> you didn't win. Oh, the whole Scooby gang's here. Nice. Uh, during meetings, approach each gang. Oh, I forgot about this. There are some advanced fighting techniques I'd like you to begin studying immediately. Ooh. Enjoy. More and more complicated ways to monster mash. Indeed. The graveyard I smash. Study it. Wait, you didn't say there was reading involved. Given the gravity of our situation, I recommend you incorporate... Buffy never learned how to read. That's one of her weaknesses. You need to get all heavy with the... Gravity. Slayer combo boost. The true Slayer can channel their inner chi into devastating key. On the last hit of a combo, press and hold the last button. Press to Slayer boost the move. Slayer boost. See, I've been doing an independent study to see if vamps are more likely to prey on cheerleaders rather than slayers because, you know. Buffy, I'm well aware of your return to cheerleading. As long as it doesn't... Do Who told you? She's a slayer. I have no objection. I like this alternate universe, Giles. Is the old one coming back? Well, don't be ridiculous, Buffy. The alternate universe, Giles, has a beard. Maybe you should do this <laughs> more often. From what I hear, the police are already claiming the attack was by a gang of PCP. <laughs> <laughs> Can you actually still make PCP? Hello, long go to ask. That's amazing. What a great inside joke. For context, every time there's vampires, like regular people are like, oh, there's just gangs on PCP. They just they just shoo it away. I should see what Xander's up to before I take off. Oh fine. Xander's uh, a lot better in the later seasons, but holy shit is he hard to like listen to in the first three seasons. Come back to the hell mouth. Reclaim the master's old church digs in your name. Yeah, if you're not, no one knows what the fuck Buffy's about. We're, this is a place in California, and Sunnydale's on top of it, and for some reason it's a font of hell. Hence the word hellmouth. Maybe now we can start enjoying the evening. Jeez, Buff, Jinx is white, don't you? That's a cue for something evil to crash in if I ever heard Oh! Do the roars, they're doing them. What's happening? Play Darude Sandstorm! Holy shit! What is this guy? What? Ah, oh, yeah, that did almost no damage. Holy shit. Alright, let's just go through where he came. Oh my god. Oh, phew. He's fat! Take that. Uh, oh shit, no! <laughs> oh my god! <laughs> no, Buffy! Buffy! 
So that was Buffinator, the Vampire Destroyer. That was still really, really fun. I hope you guys enjoyed it. Uh, let me know if you'd like to see more of this particular one. Uh, I think it's aged very, very well, in fact. And stay tuned to the Flophouse for more chill gaming fun of the spooky variety.